In this church now, there's fire. In this church now, there are feelings. Uh, we, uh, how, many, how many of you were not in church last week? Not in church. Let me see your hand. Oh no, just be truthful. Not in church. Give me a wave. If today is your first time, you have to also raise your hand. You were not in church last week. Beautiful. Last week, we learned that if you love God, you have feelings for Him. Feelings make you cry. Feelings. One day, somebody upset me so much that I started crying. Yeah. Uh, there are two things that make me cry. Anger and sadness. I don't cry from sadness alone. And sometimes happiness, joy. So, feelings make you cry. Yeah. Feelings make you do wild things. Feelings. No. It, it, some of you, the young ladies, you know. You know. You know. Feelings made you take an Uber to Tema. Uh, I shouldn't start saying such things. Let me climb up. Feelings make you take an Uber to... Feelings made you go and take your mother's tithe to take an Uber to Tema. You are standing there as if you don't know the power of feelings. Especially the people here. And the people here. You don't seem to understand feelings. I've not started preaching. Sit down. Today... Bring you greetings from Bishop Edwin. He is somewhere in far away Korea. Hey, Korea, they were receiving. It was on this same stage that I said, Far away in Madagascar. One casa. You are somewhere. Korea, they said they were receiving. Who pecked here at the Abagana? Yes, sir. On this same stage, I said, Madagascar, you didn't mind me. I said, Cameroon, you didn't mind me. I said, Bongi, you didn't mind me. Look at Korea, I receive it. Receive it. Now, who should be crying? Do you want to go with Emirates or Qatar? You only like Emirates. You spend some 24 hours in Dubai. And then you continue. Receive it in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Today somebody sent me a photo. Send me photos. She's in a foreign country far away. She said, oh, today I travel from the city where I am to another city to visit the zoo. Proper zoo, not this type of zoo. She sent me a picture of a fat snake in the zoo. I almost told her that Enchebia Omreba, so you join us back here. <laughs> but he sends his greetings, Bishop sends his greetings, and he I know that we miss him more than he misses us. This year there we have suffered though. Oh this year there we have suffered. But Nyame Betcher. Tonight, I want to share with you something shortly, which is a subject that is dear to my heart. It's a subject that I feel, and in a sense, what I'm preaching tonight is a sequel, a continuation to last week's message, <laughs> depending on the school you went to. But I want to share with you something from this book. This book is titled, How You Can Become a Strong Christian. And it's by one of the world's leading writers, Doug Hill, Bishop Doug Hill Mills, one of the world's best-selling authors, Bishop Doug Hill Mills. Yeah. And if I were you, I would read these books. They don't look impressive, but they are heavily anointed. Some of the books are prophecies, I'll tell you. Respect these books. Respect. You know, Last week, maybe I'll pick that message. Last week, in redemption service, when I started preaching, I told them that everything you do or don't do, you will pay for it. 
everything you do or don't do is paper. When I show you a book and you look for it and read it, when I show you a book, you don't look for it and read it, you will read. The one who reads will read. The one who doesn't read will also read. Who, who doesn't read will also read. Don't be somebody who sits on concern. See, one of Satan's major tools against you is passivity. If Satan can get you to be passive to the instructions of God, he has destroyed you. That, that's how you end up in hell. Yeah, because when you are passive, all the pastor says just goes above your head. Shh, no change. That's what the Bible says that be not just hearers of the word, but doers also. Say, a man who hears the word and doesn't do it is like a man who looks into the mirror, sees his face, and turns away and forgets how his face looks like. You, you, you would have been better off going to drink Smenov tonight than to come to church and listen to the preaching and not do what the preaching is saying. When I show you a book, go and find it all and go and read it. Yeah. We, we were here when they brought all 73 books at the back, free, put it on your device. Some of you didn't bother. Every day when we close, you just pass by. But these books could have turned your smartphone into a degree course in spirituality. I said, such shame for me to watch him. Then you use the phone, you go and follow Puck and use that same phone for stupid things on Instagram. Don't blame me if 10 years from today you can't buy food. Hey, now musician, my idea. Let me preach. Tonight I want to preach to you from one of the chapters. And I I I I I I I I I you're there. You let me go on. So this is a book that those of you, the young people. Read this book, oh. When I was your age, I was into books, oh. I was reading books, oh. Today, I told somebody that there was a time I was not listening to messages. I regret it. Some of the biggest mistakes I've made in my life, they were, in, they were addressed in the messages. But because I was not listening to the messages, I missed it. Oh, yes. I, I, now, I could easily have been 15 years ahead of where I am now if I was listening to messages when I was first asked to listen to messages. In today, a guy, guy. I, I, I'm talking to you from experience. Mm. Don't obey what you are told to do. It's fine. Mm. One day I asked a soldier, why do you say in the military obey before complain? He said, because when we are in the face of battle and death, trying to think about the command can cost you your life. And many people, many of you, whilst you are thinking about the command that has come to you, Satan has finished you. Oh, yeah. Whilst you are turning it over, negotiating, oh, why can't I have sex with the guy? We love each other. There's chemistry. As you are negotiating the command, Satan has finished you. But I'm also looking at your face. Galatians chapter 4, verse 18. Tonight, I want to share with you about how you can be a zealous Christian. Yes. Oh, clap your hands. A good place to clap your hands. Uh -huh. Clap your hands. And I want to welcome all those who are watching online for the brief moments that you'll be with us. God bless you. But I want to remind you that the atmosphere here is also different from online. I know online you get a good feeling, but here it's an upgrade. If you are in Accra, Kaswa, wherever, try, be here. It's different. Uh, hmm. Galatians are promising. But it is good to be zealously affected always. In a good thing. And not only when I'm present with you. Charlie, but me NLT. Let me break it down. If someone is eager to do good things for you, that's all right. But let them do it all the time, not just when I'm with you. So, see, zealous in a good thing is to do good things. Eager to do good things. That's what I need you to see. Eager to do good things. Eager to do... Some of you are eager to do evil. Eager to do evil. A bad no bonnie dear, Jack. My goodness, your intelligence is alert. Now you think about it. When you're watching Puno in your room, you don't fall asleep. Yeah. When you're 
of you when it is to chase a girl you have energy like, you've been ironing your clothes from 4 o'clock about 6.15 just to go and follow a girl I went to a boys school me I know well, it's Saturday morning that we are going to play but the, the guy is earning the khaki trousers no did you see how pretty so no I ain't say no I done it no no I ain't say no I change the iron no <laughs> just to go to a girl's school oh. you know the shirt is not for him the khaki trousers is not for him just to go and do evil. Or you know what? You'll be sneakers and suck out. Ah, Junior, be sure. Charlie, you'll be what size? <laughs> Charlie, where are your white sneakers day? <laughs> to do evil. Eager. 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 A football match that starts at 4 p.m. People are there at 10 in the morning. The first time I saw it, I couldn't believe what I was seeing. So they need kinky sellers there, ice water sellers there, because people will be there from 10 in the morning to wait for a 4 o'clock game. Eager! Give me another version, amplified version. It is always a fine thing, of course, to be zealously sought after as you are, provided that it is, for a good purpose. And by reason of purity of heart and life, and not just when I'm present with you. Another version. But it is good always to be eagerly sought. So you see, he was talking about their eagerness in seeking. Eagerness. And today I'm talking about eagerness. Now, one of the things, give me Matthew 24, 12. One of the things that the Bible teaches us will happen in the last days is that the love of many will grow cold. It will wax cold. So, connected to what we heard last week, so the feelings of many will wax cold. It will wax cold. That's why human beings have become more wicked than ever. Mm. Too dignified to shout. Too dignified to shout. But I'll come there. The way <laughs> oh, yes. Listen, today, every spirit of diplomacy is going to be cast out of the church. After today, diplomacy cannot reside here. Because iniquity shall... Listen, tonight, I came to tell you that the reason why you are cool and cold is iniquity. The evil that has kicked you, it will not allow you to dance. I didn't know that boy, I don't know what are you turning into? What you can't dance, you can't dance. And now, near more say both foot. With some some sexual healing playing coolly. So yesterday, by this time, if you check your watch now, it, it, it's five minutes to nine. The memories you get because you you your eye flash the clock. Because then you more baby, you know You could see the clock. It was five minutes to nine. yesterday by this time. Baby, I'm now one in the quarter. So you, when we say, what are you turn into what? You can't jump. 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 When we open your phone, the pornography WhatsApp groups. Yeah. One day I took a, a, a young man's phone. His pastor brought. Look at his WhatsApp group. The, 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 the groups are so many that the phone is struggling to open the WhatsApp. Yes. Pornography. He, he must have had over 50 groups. Pono, international Pono, Russian, Polish, different types. One day they brought a boy to me, 15 year old boy. He said, This boy, his problem is that he sleeps with older women and they give him money. Yes. Uh, I was standing with him on the car park, and as we stood there, a call came. Then his pastor said, Pick the call. 
when he picked the car, I could hear a woman's voice say, Na na woman. It was a Saturday night. Saturday night. Fifty year old boy he was in JSS two or JHS three. Na na And he didn't want to say. Oh, me na me chow no ama. Me de me me ame na oye sa. Then the pastor said, reply her. He, he couldn't reply. He just cut the call. And now, Oma, oh yeah, they. Not one, not two, multiples, multiples, multiples. One day I was in church. One of my sheep. She sent me a text message. We, we were about to start a Tuesday service. I was standing behind the pulpit when the message came. Bling, bling. I said, Bishop, can you believe that today I've called six boys come and have sex with me? All of them say they can't. Then the next message that came that I'm going to sack all of them. I'll find new boys. Then I, yeah. then I said, this is a demon talking. This is a demon talking. So, iniquity has kicked you. Are you okay? Listen, from Saturday night when you left here, you've listened. You know, all you are using, secular music is soaking you. You've not listened to a message. You've not read your Bible. You've not listened to gospel music. Sir, gospel music. Bye bye. Yeah, bye boy. Hey, hey, your friend is saying, hey, give me one of the songs. Hey, 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 hey. What? Give me a worship song. As the deer panted for the water, so my soul longeth after thee. Debbie. You've not sang some the whole week. You alone are my heart, desire, and I know to worship you. No, you know that's some. As you are in there in your room, you know that's some. So when you come and we are doing it, You are cold. Cold. Yeah. Because iniquity shall be. Charlie, give me NLT on this one. Today I'm not preaching for a long time. See, my man, fast, fast, fast. Sin will be rampant everywhere. And the love of many will grow cold. Amplified. And the love of the great body of people will grow cold because of the multiplied lawlessness and iniquity. The reason why you are cool when we are singing, what are you telling? Listen, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. You don't understand diplomacy more than me. You don't understand diplomacy more than me. If I walk into a shop with you, the things I'll choose will confuse you. But I'm dancing, a 